This is a quick guide on how to enable one player sleep in your Minecraft realm on Bedrock Edition using command blocks. In the recent 1.20.30 update, players got the ability to change the player sleeping percentage game rule on their Minecraft world using console command. And it's as easy as typing in this command on your world. Game rule player sleeping percentage zero. However, as of now, this game rule change doesn't persist if you make it while on your realm. If I enable one player sleep on my realm, then leave, and then the realm goes offline, the change will be gone when I return. This means I'd have to enter the command again to reactivate it. I wanted a set it and forget it solution that would permanently stay active. Let's take a look. To change the game rule, first you need to make sure that cheats are enabled on your world. For those who may not know, this will allow operators of the world to use commands and enable some other features. Doing so will turn off achievements, so if you want to keep achievements on, this solution will not work for you. Also make sure that command blocks are enabled. So now that we're in the world, the first thing that we'll want to do is to go into creative mode by typing the command game mode creative at self. Now that we are in creative, we can give ourselves a command block by typing slash give self command underscore block. The first command block we're going to place like this and then the settings will be repeat, unconditional, and always active. For the command, we can type game rule player sleeping percentage zero. This is going to repeatedly set the sleeping percentage rule to 0%. The value that we use at the end of the command should be between 0 and 100. The default is 100, meaning 100% 100 of players on the world need to be sleeping to skip the night. So when we set it to zero, this means that 0% of players need to be sleeping to skip the night. This will automatically skip the night when a player sleeps in a bed. But now you'll see that the chat is being spammed with command feedback, so to get rid of this we can place another command block on top of the previous one, like so. The settings will be chain, unconditional, always active. Type in this command, game rule, send command feedback, false. That's it, now any single player can sleep in a bed to skip the night. What's great is that you can customize that percentage and make it 50% or 25%. You just need to update the percentage value in the command, so you can actually set the value to be over 100 as well. For example, if I set it to 101%, it will be impossible to skip the night and you will get this eerie message when trying to skip the night. Keep in mind that these command blocks must remain loaded at all times to ensure that the game rules are consistently updated. To achieve this, we need to use a ticking area. Ticking areas are specific regions in a Minecraft world that remain active and continue to process game updates even when the players are not nearby. In Bedrock, ticking areas are crucial for keeping certain mechanisms like our command blocks functioning consistently. By creating a ticking area around our command blocks, we ensure that they continue to operate regardless of player proximity, making one player sleep active at all times. To create a ticking area, we need to use a command and provide the coordinates for its start and end positions. So imagine you're drawing a square, that's essentially what you're doing. Once you have the coordinates, enter them into the command. You can use the tilde keys for your coordinates to use your position. This will add a ticking area in a 32 by 32 square radius. Just ensure that your command blocks are inside this ticking area and they will always be loaded. You can use the ticking area list command to see all of the active ticking areas on your world. You can have a maximum of 10. And that's all there is to it. You can expand on these command blocks. You can make them even more efficient, perhaps by having them run only once. However, these repeating command blocks are still pretty efficient despite running every single tick. The commands will be in the description. So if you're having any issues with this setup, please let me know in the comments or join the Discord server. I'd love to help you out. Also, if you have any interesting ideas to improve this design, I'm all ears. Thanks for watching and goodbye.